Okay, I've already been awake for a couple hours. Okay, apparently Mertz doesn't want to say good morning. Good morning. I am here. It is Saturday morning. I am feeling splendid. And I've already been up for quite a few hours, had my shower, had my breakfast. Dishwasher is on. Cheerios, applesauce for breakfast. Good way to start my Saturday morning. And I've worked on my computer a little bit and we're just relaxing. Um, it's rainy outside. We have some errands to run. Now we have to go to the banks, which will take the dog. We have a couple stores to run into and I have to put my standing desk together this weekend. Yay! So we have already gone to Hagerstown and taken care of the banks. The dog loved it. She loves the banks. And we're heading out to the grocery store. So here I am. We've gone grocery shopping now and we've taken care of the banking and I am in the office and I am putting together my standing desk. I am so excited. So I had a really good Saturday. The desk is together and it is set up. I still need to get the other desk out of the office but that's just a quick move. We got our banking done, we got our errands done, and we had some time to relax, and I had some time to read. The problem is that yesterday, I was drawing the line in the sand, boom, 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 I am gonna lose a significant amount of weight in the next four months because I wanna do it because of the doctor visit, blah, 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 and the very next day, I fail. I started out good. I just had my cereal and some applesauce for breakfast, so I was doing good. We were running errands, we got running late, and it was like two o'clock, two, two thirty, and we were getting home, and I'm like, man, I'm so hungry. So I ended up picking a wrap up, which wasn't the greatest option. And then when we started talking about dinner, we actually talked about a couple different things, and the option that won was Five Guys. Five Guys burgers are awesome. Their fries are phenomenal. There's a lot of calories. And they're not nutritional calories either. They're just a lot of calories. So I failed miserably on day one. I'm not letting it stop me. There will be day two. There will be day three. And it's only a failure if you let yourself wallow in your failure. So while it wasn't the grandest of days with eating... I'm not giving up and it wasn't a total bust. And I got my desk up. I was telling Jason that my goal for next week is not to stand hours upon hours. My pie in the sky goal is to stand for a, a total of one hour a day. However, I will be happy with one half hour a day. I don't wanna go into this and like mess myself up. I wanna go into this slow so that my body is ready to stand for longer periods. So my goal, like I said, my, my base goal is a half an hour a day. My pie in the sky goal is an hour a day. And so we're gonna go with that. I do wanna get a prop or something for my foot because I do know that from experience working at the bank, you really do wanna keep your foot propped up a little bit and it just kinda of helps if you can change a little bit of your whatever. While we were like, on the way to Five Guys, I actually told Jason that I'm really grappling with eating meat. So years ago, oh, I don't even know how long. I should go back in my journals and find out. But years and years and years ago, we're talking 10, 15 years ago, I was in a car. I was driving down an interstate and I looked over and there was a cattle truck. And those cows looked at me with the most soft, gentle, benign eyes. And my heart melted. And I gave up eating hamburger. <laughs> I did. Because of the cow's eyes, they looked at me. <laughs> I never said I wasn't weird. And I didn't eat beef for years. And the less I ate it, the less I liked it. And ironically enough, when I met Jason, he knew about this and he was like, six months with me and you'll be eating hamburger. He was right. And I never really like a lot of meat, but I do eat it now. And um, 
I've thought about it because I'm just like, you know, what made me stop is still there in my heart. So yesterday I was driving up the road to my doctor's appointment and I was on the interstate and what would pull up beside me but a cattle truck. Okay, now I'm sitting there and I look over and I'm like, oh, and I'm like, don't look, don't look. And I'm like trying to, trying to drive and try not to look at these cows that are beside me. And I'm like trying to keep my focus and I'm like, not going to do it, not going to do it, just not going to look. And I was doing really good. I was holding strong. I was holding steady. I wasn't getting sucked into the cattle eyes, those little soft brown gentle eyes. And the truck pulled ahead and I'm like, Whew, got this one. And then on the back of the truck, I'm just behind it. And I notice they have like, it looks like a, an oar from a kayak or something. I'm like, wonder why that's attached to the back of the truck. And then I knew. That's what they use to push and prod the cattle in. Now, it, it's not a, it could be worse because there are other prodders. But I sat there and I'm like, oh my word, they're using that to beat those cows to get them on the truck. All of that focus I used was gone. All of it. Yeah, my burger was good tonight. And ironically enough, when I gave up beef before the first like, two or three years, what I would crave would be a burger, a cheeseburger. It was good tonight. I'm not gonna lie. I felt really guilty the whole time. Not really sure what's gonna happen with this one. But I told Jason just be forewarned. <laughs> So that's the day. It is chilly outside. Jason is outside running the dog. We are going to have a fire tonight, watch some TV, and just enjoy life. We still have off tomorrow because it is Sunday tomorrow. So the weekend is only halfway over. Yay! And i um, not sure what we're going to get into. I've got most of my stuff done that I needed to do around the house. I have some laundry that I can continue, but who knows what we're going to get into. Sunday morning, and we had a lazy start. I've been playing around on my computer, getting a couple things done, and it is time to get in the kitchen because I am making myself salads this week, and I know that when it comes down to the time that if it's not already prepared, I will probably not do it because it just takes time to put everything in a salad. So I am going to be preparing all of my salads, all of my lettuce, everything in the salad. The only thing I will need to put on is salad dressing throughout the week and that will make it nice and easy for me to eat something nutritious. So I'm gonna prepare my salads. I'm also gonna make a baked ziti. Um, it's one of my favorite dishes and it tastes better if it's been sitting for a day before you bake it. So I'm gonna make it today and we'll bake it tomorrow night. My kitchen is also a mess. I will not, you can see that counter is bad, but this counter is also just as bad. So I'm going to go ahead and finish emptying the dishwasher, clean the counter, get a couple things done, and then who knows what the day is gonna bring. Good morning, here we are. Monday morning, my least favorite day of the week, but you know, life happens. So it's actually about 7.30. I've been up since about five. I actually spent some time doing some financial paperwork for us and I actually did some other paperwork. I have obviously showered. So I went ahead and snapped my green beans for dinner because we will be doing a couple things after work. Yes, I'm snapping my green beans super early in the morning because I should be going away this afternoon. And we have to do things when we have time. Pick these up at a local butcher shop. They look fantastic. I mean, just really nice looking green beans. And really decently priced too. I think I paid $2 for all of these. And I actually did have breakfast. I had Special K with strawberries. And I had some real strawberries with that. I am doing really good on my 800 grams of vegetables that I'm trying to have. And um, 
it's doing good. The weekend was a bit of a bust. I actually allowed myself to succumb to the temptations. I let, drew that line in the sand like I talked about and I didn't keep it on Saturday and I didn't do much better on Sunday. We, last night we just went out and got subs and chips and it could have been it could have been worse this weekend. I am determined to bring it back around. I actually have my salads prepared for lunches today. I have lots of fruits and vegetables, so I am good with that. There is one thing I'm quite excited about today, and that is the fact that I am going to be using my stand-up desk for the first time. My goal is at least a half an hour, and I would like to make it an hour. But, you know, we're going to see how it goes, and um, we're going to roll with the day that way. Out with the dog. I don't know what she's looking at. She's weird. And we're just kind of moseying around, enjoying our morning before we get to work. So I am done work for the day. I am at my mom's. I'm getting ready to go in and we are going to sort through whatever we sort through today. Slowly but surely, we're going to get through the house. Um, it's going to take a while, but we're doing it. I actually did use the stand-up desk. I actually stood for about two hours today. I'm actually pretty happy with that because my goal was a half hour and my like amazing I'd be tap tickled with myself was an hour. So I actually exceeded my goal. So we'll see how I do tomorrow. So Monday is in the books. I spent some time at my mom's. I brought a couple things home and got home and Jason had put the big ziti in the oven. So we basically had big ziti. By the time I got home, I basically ate. We sat and talked for maybe five, 10 minutes and it was pretty much time for us to go to bed because we do go to bed at nine o'clock because we wake up so early. So there you have my weekend of days. It was not a wonderful weekend in terms of eating, but that's part of life. No excuses. I wasn't getting sucked into the, the bee fries. We were picking up sticks. She's just bringing her stick back. <laughs> 